Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today on our 2018 Subaru Forester, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Roadmaster Universal High Power Diode Wiring Kit. Our wiring is going to be one of the five main components that are needed to flat tow your Subaru. The other four are going to include a base plate, a tow bar, a braking system, and safety cables. Our wiring kit is going to allow the back of our Subaru to replicate the back of our motorhome's lighting signals, and that's going to keep us safe and legal. Of the other options available, this is probably going to be my favorite, because you set it up once, and you're for the most part done, you're not going to have to think about it again. As compared to some of the other styles, like your magnetic style, you're going to have to set that up every single time, you're going to have to put magnets on your vehicle and have to worry about scratching up the paint, you're also going to have to drape wires over your vehicle. The other style would be bulb and socket, and how that works is you're actually going to have to drill a hole into your tail light housing and run an additional bulb. So I really ain't too crazy about those because if you happen to mess up on the hole, you're going to have to replace the whole tail light or worry about it leaking. I also really like the fact that our kit uses diodes. And those diodes are going to protect our factory wiring if a short were to occur elsewhere in the electrical system. The majority of the time, Subarus are very easy to work on and this particular one is no different. So let's go ahead and wire everything up together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna take our wiring and drop it down through the front. That way we can connect the end of it to our six-way plug. Here's the route that I took to drop our wiring down to our six-way plug. Just ran it next to our washer bottle along our frame rail, and that actually dropped down below our front bumper in this area. Then I was able just to take the wire and run it over here to where our six-way is. Now what we're going to do is connect our wires to our six-way. So we'll first start by separating the wires from each other. So we'll kind of just cut a small split in between them all. And that way we can peel them back. Let's separate them an inch or two. And then we can strip back some of this insulation to expose the bare wire underneath. Twist them to get them tight. We're going to plug these into the appropriate terminals here on our six way. Now, our particular six way does have some lettering which indicates what wire goes where. So, our green wire will go to RT which is right turn. Our yellow wire will go to LT, which is left turn. The brown wire will go to TM, which is for your taillights. And the white wire will go to GD, which is for ground. So just put the end of the wire in. And we can tighten down that set screw. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the three remaining wires. And this is what it looks like when all four of our wires are hooked up. What I like to do is use some dielectric grease, which you can find here at eTrailer, and blob it over all of our terminals, and that'll help keep them protected from any corrosion. I went ahead and put our cover back over the six-way and taped everything up just to help keep it a little more protected. Now we can resecure our six-way. I went ahead and routed our wiring to the back of the vehicle, and here's the path that I took. Came out along the side of our battery here, and I actually brought it up by our brake booster, and used some zip ties to secure it along the way, and dropped it down. You just want to be sure to avoid any hot or moving parts. And that's where our wire drops down from our engine bay, and I ran it underneath this panel. Along through here. Up underneath the panel in our fuel tank here. And I ran the wire up. 
over our suspension components. And then along where our spare tire sets in the trunk of our car. And back here, finally just securing the end of it to our hitch. Now what we're gonna have to do is run the wiring up into the tail light pockets. So I'm gonna show you how to take them tail lights out and a trick to make it easy to get our wiring up there. Now we can remove our tail lights and the way to do that is open your hatch and you're gonna have two 10 millimeter screws we need to pull out. Now once we have these screws out, we can wiggle the light around pulling it towards you, just like that. Now we can disconnect it. Here we're gonna have a connector with a tab in the center. You push down on that tab and pull the light away. We could just repeat that same process over on the other side. The way that we're gonna get our wiring from underneath the vehicle up into our tail light pocket is we're gonna use a fish wire. So I took a piece of nylon tubing, but you can even use a coat hanger or another thick piece of wire and push it down through the tail light pocket. And what will happen is it'll actually feed out of the bottom of our vehicle. So now with this down here, what we can do is connect our wiring to it using some tape, and then we're able to pull it up into the tail light pocket. Now the wires that we're going to connect are the white, brown and yellow wire. So we'll separate this green wire from it. This green one will run over to the passenger side so we can peel back the four or five foot green wire off. You can taper other wires, fish wire, and go back up top to a tail light pocket and pull them on through. So I went ahead and separated our wires, and what we're going to do is ground our white wire to the body of the car right here. So we'll cut that extra wire off. We can strip back that insulation. We'll take our included ring terminal and crimp that on. Now we're able to take the self-tapping tech screw and use that to secure our ring terminal to the body of our vehicle. I went ahead and tested our wiring to identify the lighting signals. And the wires that we're going to be working with are the blue wire and this brown wire. The brown wire will be used for stop and turn signals, and the blue wire will be for our running lights. Now we're gonna trim off the extra wiring that we have here for our brown and yellow. So we'll just cut those to the length that we need. We'll strip that insulation back. And then we are going to install some spade connectors, so that way we can plug them into our diodes. So our yellow wire is going to get one of the blue spade connectors from our diodes. We'll slide that on, we'll crimp it down. And the brown wire, it's going to be just a little bit different. What we're going to do is take that extra length of white wire that we cut off earlier, and we're going to tie these two wires together. And then we're going to take the yellow terminal from our diodes and crimp that on over both of our wires. And since this white wire will get ran over to the passenger side, we'll just take the end of it and drop it down through our taillight pocket. Now our car's already had some work done to it, but that's okay, the idea and how this is going to work is exactly the same as if it hadn't been done. So if your wires are still factory, what you would do 
is cut your brown wire in half and also cut your blue wire in half. And then you would set it up just like this. You would take the blue connectors from our diodes and crimp them on to each end of our wire. Now we can connect our diodes. Now what I like to do is use some dielectric grease and put a little bit over the terminals just to help keep them protected. Now to connect these, we're gonna go ahead and start with our blue factory wire. So how it's gonna work, this is the end of the diode that says out with the single terminal there. That'll get plugged in to the blue wire that's closest to our plug. We'll push that in. The other end of the blue wire will go to one of these two end terminals. And then the last terminal, we're going to plug in our brown and white wire. Now for our factory brown wire, what we're gonna do is grease our diode take the single in portion, or I'm sorry, the single out portion rather, plug that into the wire closest to the plug, plug the other end of the brown wire into one of the two end terminals, then we'll take our yellow wire and plug that into the last remaining one. Now we can secure our diodes together so peel back the paper off the sticky tape. What I'm gonna do is just stick them together. And now we can plug our tail light back in. So we'll do is just take our plug, line it up with the tail light, clip it in. We can line it back up and push it into place. I went ahead and ran my green and my white wire over to the passenger side and I just tucked my wires up along this opening here on top of my hitch, secured them with some zip ties and the wire actually comes up right through here and what I did was is I used that same fish wire technique from the tail light pocket down to where this dropped down and I taped my wires to it and was able to pull them up. Over here on the passenger side, I went ahead and connected all my diodes and I used that same method as the driver's side. The brown wire will go into our diode and our green wire will connect into that same diode. As far as the other diode, we used our blue wire going through it and our white wire connects to that same diode. With everything connected, we can stick our diodes together and reinstall our tail light. Now with everything hooked up, we're gonna go ahead and test it to make sure it's working properly. Now I'm using a tester. However, if you don't have one of these, you can just hook up to your motorhome and do it that way. All right, let's go ahead and turn our tail lights on. Our left turn. Our right turn and our brake lights. And that'll do it for our look at and our installation of the Roadmaster high-powered universal diode wiring kit on our 2018 Subaru Forester.